All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about, you know, how to intercept the JavaScript in Burp proxy. And that could be used to, for example, something like, you know, client-side bypassing. So we just wanna, you know, I just booted up a room. I have been doing that on my video so far, but you know, in this particular room here, we need to do some actual client-side bypass. So let's just go ahead and check out the web page, which is uh, right there. So let me just uh, take the, I think I need to, add some URLs to my host file. We can just pretty fast do that. No, uh, let's see, sudo nano etc host. Now you don't really need to do that. I'm just gonna do it pretty fast and not even paying too much attention to what I'm doing. So just, you know, getting it done. And getting the, the client side filter done here, you know, is we, we're getting this URL and you can just access it. I need to do HTTP in front of it because it is a web page. And we're getting this uh, bad gateway. So let me just see, do we have anything? There we have it. So this is the, the web page and we can upload a file, stuff like that. So basically what you're gonna do is we need to do client side, um, client side bypass or intercepting the JavaScript. Then in Burp proxy, what is what many people kind of miss is under the proxy tab, the options, you're gonna pick the intercept client request and this first one here, you know, click that and click edit. And then you're gonna see this line down here, which is gonna match conditions. Now, I'm gonna copy paste that out. I'm just gonna show you what it is by default. By default, it is with the JavaScript one, as so you can see that I highlighted on the screen. What you're gonna do is delete that line there, like that and take this and then copy paste it back into the bird proxy and save. Already did that for a long time ago. So what you can do now is just go ahead to the proxy and the intercept and say intercept on and just intercept and see forward. And then you're gonna see different kinds of JavaScript. It's not the jQuery one intercept. The first load sounds weird. I don't care about it. Client side filter sounds nice. That is a JavaScript. So right click right there and say do intercept this response request. And then just forward until you see this client side filter. And in this particular case, you will see the, the JavaScript right there. And what you kind of want to do is to remove this client side filter, for example. So you want to do something, you know, you want to, you want to, <laughs> you want to, you want to, it says like if the file type is not image PNG. So you can say like, you can basically just say this and if one equal one, you know, then it's going to be nullified to true. And then it says, then, then it's an error. But basically what you want to do here is to not skip and get into this operation. You're going to say if, if one is one, then you're going to do that. But what you really want to do is say if one is, uh, if, I'm gonna create a variable here, for example, say var a equal one, and you can say like if a is equal to two, it's never equal to two, it's equal to one, then it's the else condition is gonna be executed. You could also just copy paste that, it doesn't really matter, it's just changing it really. And then, you know, this will be executed now, and the file, whatever I upload, should be, you know, you know, directly accepted. So just forward that, intercept off, go back, go into the here, and check the, 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 the client side filter. And then you can see that what I typed is not there yet. So did I do an error? Let me just try one more time. So I guess I did an error. So scripts, filter, do intercept. And we can just say, I want the var a one and then all of this right here should be like if a equal to two it's so gonna forward that and that should in reality be inside this file I don't know where I cannot see it in any way but we can just select the file now and say what if I do a PHP file and the chosen file is now okay I don't really care about that, but the file got uploaded. So I don't know exactly why it doesn't show in the browser. Maybe it's some old cache. I don't know. We can just, you know, uh, see, no, I don't know why, but you know, 
it's uh, it says that if it's not a image PNG, and it definitely was a PHP file that I just uploaded. Let me try one more time just to see it is not a flurk. So a shell the PHP invalid file type. So what you can do now is go ahead and take Berry Proxy, insert on, update the page, go forward to the client side filter, right click, do intercept that one. Next, and then you just in different ways gonna take this and just copy paste it, hold up. So no matter what I do now, I will upload the file. I'm gonna upload it. Instead of, I don't know if, I have no idea why it's showing me this, but now I'm just gonna click the file, PHP, it should be fine now. And the chosen file is PHP 5, upload, and you're done really. So that is how you intercept the, 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 the JavaScript in a per proxy. You can alter it. Now, the reason why I'm seeing different things in my browser, I don't really know, I don't really care. It's just, maybe if I go to F12 and I went through the inspector and, and, and looked at stuff here. I should maybe see something different. Can I not see it? Uh, I don't know. Now the expert in this. No, but you know, okay, so I don't really care. It's fine. We worked. We did it. So, really, just want to say hope you like this video and I'll see you again next time.